Caribbean Championship Wrestling. It's a tropical delight on the spot that's bright. Prime time style. I'm your host, Rick St. James, flying solo tonight because the uh, man from the Sunflower State, Hangman Bobby Jaggers, obviously is elsewise occupied. Anyway, we have a fantastic program for you tonight, as we do every week, and we like to thank you for watching us every week. All the surveys say it, and we must be ha pleased as punch to have you with us every week. So now, what do you say? We go and take a look at tonight's highlights. First up, it'll be Jason the Terrible facing the menace of Invader 3. Up next, it's the veteran, Victor Jovica, against the youngster, El Solitario. Then we'll see the Universal Champion in action versus a man from the Far East, Kendo Nagasaki. Our wrestling choir takes a look at a belt that has changed hands in recent days. El Profe's wrestling class is always in Spanish follows. And we'll take a look at DMC, the Dynamite Man, versus Don Kent. And then our main event will be the four fabulous ones, the midgets in action. Fans, let's go to our first match. Here we are in the ring, fans, and it's Jason squaring off right now against Ricky Vargas. Finally, referee gets his way. And waiting to enter combat, Invader 3. To say hello to all our fans in Trinidad, Tobago. Joining us, and there's Invader 3 starting off Probably the only way you can against Jason on the attack. You can't lay back against a man that big. But you're going to be in trouble. And Invader 3, the ring veteran that he is, knows that very well. So you can see the speed advantage. Invader 3 pounding and kicking Jason, but it doesn't seem to have that much of an effect. Jason, of course, has a very strong underlying hatred for society. Based on uh, his incidents as a youth, but he is the current Caribbean champion. Won that belt in a match against CMC. And of course, wherever we see Jason in an important match, a title match, you know Chicky Star's got to be somewhere near. But right now it's Invader 3. And I'll tell you, Invader 3, like nothing better than to get a victory over Chicky's main man. Jason the Terrible. Right there you see the speed once more, but again, no effect on that muscular body of Jason. Looks like he's built like an oak. Certainly tall as one. There's collar and elbow, but really Invader 3. There you see the speed. Invader 3 goes behind, and now he's kicking the left leg of Jason the Terrible. Trying to get him off his feet. His main objective. There are the fans cheering him on, and there he is, down to the mat, goes Jason, and now Invader 3 showing why he's held various championships. There he is right now, pounding on the thigh, in the thigh of Jason the Terrible. And I'd say first mission is accomplished, getting the big man off his feet. Now he's got to keep him there. And you see the menacing mask of Jason. Step over toe hold. There you see the pressure on the legs. If the man can't stand, even as strong as Jason is, he has a better chance of winning, does Invader 3. Whoa. Look at the heavy boots, specially made, obviously. You won't find that size in any of your local stores. Look at the pounding on the thigh by Invader 3. Jason can barely stand. He's favoring that left leg already. Now, straight the leg on the rope. Applied pressure once more. Ricky Vargas with the count. And we see Invader 3 off to a fast start in this match. Jason hobbling around. Very smart strategy used by Invader 3 in the beginning of this match. Try to take Jason off his feet. Now, Match of strength is what Jason would like. Invader 3 knows that's not in his best interest, but he'll go for the grease and knuckle lock. There's a kick. 
And there goes Invader 3 back on that left leg. That's the game plan. You got to take the legs from under, Jason. Oh, my. Beautiful smash. Now back to the step over toe hold. And Invader 3 using all his wrestling knowledge. Right now with a quick start against the big man, Jason the Terrible, who can inflict some serious damage once he gets started in a match. And I know Invader 3 knows that very well. Ricky Vargas watching attentively all the action. And now Jason offering his hand in friendship, but uh, sportsmanship rather. And Invader 3 says, no thanks. Tough enough to go up against a man this big. There is Jason now hobbling around and Invader 3 looking for an opening to go in. There he goes. Go behind. And once more, he's kicking that same left leg. There you have a class in wrestling. The strategy, stick to it when it works. And certainly it's working for Invader 3 in this match against Jason. And it is to debilitate that left leg. Look at that position right there, the knee in peril. You can get some cartilage out of whack with that move right there. Invader 3 not necessarily thinking of a pin in this situation. He knows he's facing a very rough man. Got a game plan and it's to deteriorate the leg strength of Jason the Terrible. He's using his speed. And there he is, kicking once more. The left leg, and you won't, you might not see as much wrestling from Invader 3 as we are accustomed, because he knows. He knows the strength of Jason. Oh. But you see all legal moves by Invader 3. A very technical wrestler. So far, Jason has not been able to get on track. I think he's a little surprised. He thought perhaps Invader 3 would be timid or be scared of his presence, but that has not been the case. Of course, Jason's record in Puerto Rico and the correct Caribbean speaks for itself. Fantastic record and currently the Caribbean heavyweight champion. He rakes across the eyes and now looks like Jason. Oh, with the mask. Say, there's a big difference between Jason's mask and Invader 3's mask. And here comes Invader 3 fighting out of instinct. He goes down below with a foul of sorts. Here's a pinning predicament. Look at a beautiful move by Invader 3. Almost caught Jason by surprise. Two count. And Jason has the power to get out. But as I was, as I was saying, the mask that Jason wears is a hard plastic mask. And as far as I know, that can bust your nose or any part of your face. There's Sunset Flip by Invader 3. Nope. Simple sit down by Jason. Gets out of it. Meanwhile, Invader 3's mask is just what it looks like. It's a cloth type mask. Has no type of pr protection for Invader 3. Whenever he meets up against that uh, menacing mask of Jason, there it is, the headbutt. A famous move by Jason. He's won many a match with that. Now he's pounding the neck. There's a reverse chin hold. Now he's trying to take the mask off of Invader 3. They count by Ricky Vargas. And there you see a desperation move again by Invader 3. And you can't really blame him. He's going up against a man that outweighs him by over 100 pounds. But right now it's a pretty even match, surprisingly. There's an inside cradle. One, two, no. Just too strong is Jason, but the fans, you can hear them cheering on their favorite. Now, Invader 3 goes for the mask. He knows Jason's vulnerable without that mask, but he's fouled. He's fouled by Jason. And this is not a pretty match, fans. Both men are going for anything they can find to get an advantage. Right now, Jason pounding on Invader 3 on a scruff of the neck. Now he's grabbing the mask. He's been trying to take that mask off of Invader 3. 
humiliate him. Oh, he's ha Oh, my. The hangman would know something about that. Hung him high in the air, showing his power. And I'm sure choking Invader 3. And now the, the tide has turned, I safely say, in favor of Tiki Stars. Man in... There it is again. Not only does he hang him up there, but when he comes down, he takes a hard hit, hard lick on that canvas. And Invader 3 is a man who... Sometimes uh, you wonder if he's come back 100% from his injury. He has lost some important matches. But we all remember the... Oh, look at that beautiful monkey flip. By Invader 3. Off the ropes comes Jason. Oh, high knee. Yeah, Invader 3 took his eye off of Jason. Didn't count on the quickness of the big man. Body slam by Jason. Invader 3 is certainly a very brave athlete to come back from that type of injury. We're not right now, this is the type of thing. Put him in the hospital. And Jason, oh, no. Yes. Invader 3 got away. I tell you, that had trouble spelled all over it. But now Invader 3 was able to escape the giant leap with the mask. And he's back in control. Irish whip reversed by Jason. Uh-oh, here comes Invader 3, leap. Can't, he cannot do the roll-up on the more powerful Jason. And I tell you, seesaw battle now. Jason back on the offensive with the body slam. Will he go up and try it once more? Yes, he does. He's going up to the third row. Very dangerous move. Oh, he nailed him. Good night, Irene. You're not going to get up from that. And there you see it, fans. The winner of this match is Jason the Terrible. As the action continues in just a moment, stay with us. TNT, tengo un mensaje muy importante para ti. Como ves, pues no he acabado contigo, pero TNT estás un poco magullado. Y Abdullah de Butcher terminará el trabajo este sábado. Así que TNT, ahí tú puedes ver y todos los fanáticos pueden ver el daño físico que hace Abdullah de Butcher. Y TNT es por el campeonato de Norteamérica, campeonato que tiene Abdullah de Butcher. Así que TNT, y recuerda, una estipulación muy importante, todo se vale, es sin descalificación. Así que TNT, vamos a ver qué tú puedes hacer al enfrentarte a este monstruo, a esta máquina, a a este animal de 500 libras de peso, TNT, tú sabes que Abdullah de Butcher es muy bueno. Y yo sé que tú eres bueno, TNT, pero Abdullah de Butcher es superior a ti. Así que TNT, recuerda esto, campeonato de Norteamérica y sin descalificación este sábado polideportivo de Carolina. Capitol Sports Promotions presenta las superestrellas de la lucha libre. Este sábado a las 8 y 30 en el polideportivo Guillermo Angulo de Carolina en la lucha estelar. En revancha por el campeonato de la televisión y del Caribe. El terror. Jason el terrible se enfrenta a la cruz de Puerto Rico. Carlitos Colón. En revancha sin descalificación por el campeonato de Norteamérica. El monstruo la máquina. Tremenda acción.
acción en parejas y es grandes combates. Extravaganza de lucha en parejas. No puede faltar en su colección. La mejor lucha libre del mundo con sus luchadores favoritos. Pídelo en tu video club favorito o llama a Transcarí Video Distributor. Teléfono 791-5108-791-5478. Bueno, We're back with a second match, fans. Action here on Caribbean Championship Wrestling. I'm Rick St. James. The principal of this match is El Solitario, Victor Jovica. We got the strength, youth, the vitality of El Solitario versus the ring experience. The fast knowledge of Victor Jovica. The referee is El Vikingo. And right now, it's Jovica taking command. On the, the taller, solitario, muscular, he has an, Ado an Adonis-like figure to him, does El Solitario. Head scissors by Jovica, controlling the apparently stronger man, this Solitario, looks like he's been in the gym. Right now, but you can't do anything from the seat of your pants, and Jovica, right now, it has the leverage trying to bridge there by Solitario gets to his knees and there he gets out of it tries a headlock but it's reversed into an arm hammerlock by Victor Jovica and there you see some of the mobility possessed by the Yugoslav now Puerto Rican resident I'm sure the fans in Trinidad are happy to see Jovica back in action. Won many a big match, a championship there. Trinidad Tobago. Right now, an armbar on El Solitario, which means the lone, uh, the lone one, the lone, lonesome stranger, I guess. The gold mask. One might ask, who is that masked man? Well, I don't know. That's for sure. Jovica pounding on the midsection with his boot. And that's smart, fans. Take the breath right out of you. But you see the well-conditioned athlete that Solitario is. Hardly phased him. And Solitario perhaps needing some dedication to get ahead in this sport. So he seems to be on and off right here. A victory over Jovica would be very important for him to get his career off the ground. Side headline. And reverse, top wrist lock, and back to the side headlock. By Solitario, wouldn't be surprised if he grabbed some hair. There we see. The referee's watching now, but a nice reversal. By Solitario, and now a double reverse into a hammerlock. There's a, a drop toe hold by Solitario. Takes Jovica to the mat. And some excellent wrestling by both men. <coughs> Jovica the master, perhaps. Fast ring experience. That was a forearm by Jovica, and Solitario seems to think it was a punch illegal in wrestling. The fans certainly won't give Solitario any forum or solace. False man in the middle ring now. Oh, headbutt, solo plexus. Now downstairs goes to Vika. Head into the current buckle. And I bet you Solitario's got to be a little dizzy right now. Couple of hard left from the south Paul Jovica. Back comes Solitario. Reverse into the rope. He caught him, does Jovica with the knee. We see a very even match up to now. Jovica very close to a foul there, but he caught the thigh. Now he tries an inside cradle. Solitario. Too strong yet. Hasn't been worn down enough for that move. There's a head clap. <coughs> Not as effective when you have a mask on. Javika, of course, well known for the sleeper hold. Right now.
right now it's Tony Gennady who's trying to put Jovica to sleep with some elbow smashes. Off the ropes comes Jovica. And he catches Solitario. Now, left hand downstairs, double Solitario. Up to probably his, his midsection is the uh, Achilles heel. Now, switcheroo. Jovica. And Solitario takes turns with that turnbuckle. First Irish whip. Oh, Javico, look at that touch, that slip catch, Solitario, one, two, three, there it is, quick action by Victor Javico, takes this match, man, we'll be back, as the action continues on Caribbean Captain of Wrestling. En el Roberto Clemente y este sábado sin descalificación, nuevamente tú y yo cara a cara en Carolina en el Polideportivo sin descalificación Abdullah por este campeonato viene para mí. Yo sé que tú eres peligroso, pero yo voy a mí Abdullah. Te pienso dar la Super Saiyan y derrotarte en el medio de ring. Una, dos y tres este sábado en Carolina Abdullah. Capitol Sports Promotions presenta las superestrellas de la lucha libre este sábado. And we are back. Caribbean Championship Wrestling. There you see the Universal Champion, Carlitos Colon, against Kendo Nagasaki, man from the Far East. And this is going to be a rough and tumble battle. I tell you, it's worth, worth the prize of admission, and uh, we're bringing it to you right in your living room. Yes, right. <laughs> Our, our producer here giving me a note about uh, Carlitos recently wrestling Hercules Ayala. His great victory in that match. Kendo Nagasaki with the traditional paint on his face. Of course, we bring you fans the matches that we know you like by your letters. This is one that fans wanted to see. There we have it. The man with the kendo stick, Kendo Nagasaki, formerly one half of the Ninja Express, on his own with his manager, Profe, outside holding that stick, very dangerous. And of course, the idol of the Caribbean, particularly Puerto Rico, traveled the world over representing this island. Carlitos Colon, recently defeating men the caliber of Ronnie Garvin, Hercules Ayala, to be the current Universal Champion once more. And there's Kendo Nagasaki now, using some of that martial arts, pounding on the body of Carlitos into an armbar. This man's combination of a martial artist, and of course, knows wrestling very well, comes here from Japan. Well, he's a ring veteran, venerated in Japan. In excellent shape, as you can see. That allows him to have very tough, tough battles. He can endure 30 minutes, 60 minutes against the best in the world. And that's why he's here at Caribbean Championship Wrestling, facing the best. And there's Kalitos, the wrist lock. Punishing the left arm of Kendo. Eddie Grice in the background is always taking photos of various magazines who cover wrestling on the island. And the state side, of course, they follow the best of Caribbean Championship Wrestling. We bring you here every Monday night. No bar by Carlitos now. He's got Kendo on the mat. That's one of the, the first advantages you can get in a match, getting your man down. It's like check in chess. So we might say Kendo's in check right now. Got to find a solution. Carlito's well known for the figure four lock, which he has done much damage. Most recently, uh, knees. Various wrestlers have given out under that pressure. Right now, Kendo 
gaining the advantage. He's back with a reverse chin lock, perhaps a choke there, hiding it from the referee Ricky Vargas. Now punishing to the midsection of Carlos. There you see the chop down the neck of Carlitos Colon. Snap mare. And he goes into the reverse chin lock. Here's where you have to watch for a choke. I understand El Profe is a master of teaching his men. And certainly Kendo has prior knowledge of how to hide various chokes and how to cut off the supply of air to the windpipe. And there's Carlitos, one of his many escapes. Manages a top wrist lock. And now grabbing the hair there by Kendo, gaining the advantage on the ropes. And he must break, but a parting shot from Kendo. And there he catches him with a knee and the solo plexus. And now pounding the head and neck of Carlitos. Kendo gaining the advantage. Front face lock. Reverse by Carlitos. There you see the very smooth wrestling of Carlitos Colon. One of the best technicians inside the ring, but he can also go punch for punch with any man in wrestling. Kendo Nagasaki now reverses it. Off the ropes comes Carlitos. He misses his clothesline, and Carlos catches him with a clothesline. Down goes Kendo. And on the attack immediately is Carlos Colon with the leg smash. All the fans calling for Carlos. Take the man down. There he is, smashing the left leg of uh-oh, he's going for the figure four. There he is. He's got it locked in. And now Kendo Nagasaki must decide between valor and discretion here. The pain already affecting Kendo Nagasaki. The fans screaming. And there you see he couldn't take it anymore. Couldn't take it. The pressure was too much. And a submission by Carlitos Colón on Kendo Nagasaki. Fans, we'll be right back with our wrestling inquirer. Carlos Colón, este sábado te vas a enfrentar a la pesadilla viviente, el hombre que te ha dado trabajo, el hombre que tú no has podido derrotar. Así que, Carlos Colón, este sábado piensas derrotarlo, no veo la manera, pero Carlos Colón, te voy a dar un adelanto. Van a estar las dos correas de por medio, el campeonato del Caribe que posee Jason y tu campeonato de la televisión, o sea, el campeonato de todos los televidentes, campeonato que tú perderás este sábado. Así que, Carlos Colón, ahí ves a un hombre salvaje, un hombre que acaba con todo lo que encuentra, no importa lo que sea, y este sábado, Carlos Colón, en el Polideportivo de Carolina, Jason va por una cosa, un objetivo, acabarte de una sola vez, Carlos Colón, y quitarte ese título, el título de la televisión, que es el título que yo quiero en mi organización. Y Jason lo va a conseguir para mí. Así que, Carlos Colón, lo siento por ti, pero este sábado, en el Polideportivo de Carolina, Jason será el nuevo campeón de la televisión. Capitol Sports Promotions presenta las superestrellas de la... Take a look. Last week's junior heavyweight championship match involving El Profe, who has just loaded his mask, coming back inside the ring against Ricky Santana, who gets another shot and vowed he would take the title away from El Profe. There you see El Profe goes to the second rope with that loaded mask. Ricky Santana blocks it with his hands, perhaps hurt, but he catches El Profe unawares with the bridge and the pin. The new junior heavyweight champion of the world, Ricky Santana, who takes away El Profe's most prized possession, the junior heavyweight title. That same night in Cagua, the fans witnessed the Caribbean Tag Team Champions, Miguelito Perez and Hurricane Castillo Jr. against the challenges the Ninja Express. There's Hurricane, who has the Saki San pin. In comes Mr. Pogo, devastating kick to the face. Lights out. Sasaki San on the pin. The referee didn't see the action. And I'm afraid that's one, two, three. And you have new Caribbean tag team champions. El Profes Ninja Express. And fans, that's been Wrestling Choir this week. Let's go to our next match. In one corner, we have TNT, the Dynamite Man. In the other corner, the veteran down under, Don Kent.
formerly of the Kangaroos, a famous tag team in their own right. But now the single member, Don Kett, goes up against a tough challenge of TNT, who we all know the fans love. He's on the warpath. He's got to be very angry. Recently, he's had some tough battles with Jason the Terrible, where he lost the Caribbean Championship. He told me he's anxious to get back in the ring for one of the major titles here. You know that he doesn't want to lose to Don Kent on the way. But I tell you, Don Kent, the ring veteran, can certainly pulled out any trick in the book. Vast wrestling experience. Side headlock there by Don Kent. Now TNT corners him. The reverse by Don Kent. A lot of quickness displayed by the kangaroo. Now TNT with some rough action of his own. Starts off the hostilities. Both men tell Ricky Vargas, let them wrestle or fight, as it were. Now both men in the corner. I raked by Don Kent. Now he's punishing the back. The chin, right on the chin, a couple of right hands. Now look at that eye gouge by Don Kent. Don Kent knows the caliber of TNT. Doesn't want to let him get started with any of that martial arts action. Now it's a pitch battle. Don Kent. Forgetting about wrestling for a second, concentrating on choking TNT now outside the ropes there, you see. Taking control of this match quickly. Is Don Kent like a house of fire choking TNT? Nothing Ricky Vargas can do but count. Don Kent, of course, aware of the count. Breaks in time, but now he's got... Combination reverse chin lock choke on TNT. He's got a hold of the eye, sort of a, an eye gouge. Tell you, Ricky Vargas, it better be on top of this. Because Don Kent could do a lot of damage in those clinches. Wiley veteran, but oh, that might be the wrong way to go with TNT. One of the hardest heads in wrestling. Right now. Counter punching. He takes him to the. He takes him to the corner. Off the ropes and a side kick by TNT, signaling the Cobra clutch. And there it is, the Cobra hold, locked on, devastating hold that puts him to sleep. Don Kent better watch out. Because he might be taking a Dominix ride in this one. The fans aware of the famous Cobra hold by TNT. Don Kent now looks like he might be out of it. Yep. Pull up the drapes. Because Don Kent is fast asleep. Put there by TNT, the winner of this match. There we see a TNT. Right now, referee's asking him to wake him up. TNT says, should I or shouldn't I? We'll see the Union Jack in the background. And now TNT wakes him up. And that's the end of this match. Fans, up next is El Profe, the wrestling fan. Bienvenidos al Profe Wrestling Class. Una vez más la profecía se ha cumplido. El Profe ha convertido en realidad lo que les prometió a ustedes. El campeonato del Caribe en pareja ha caído una vez más. O por primera vez debo decir en la Real Academia del Profe, cuando el nuevo Ninja Express, el Guerrero Shogun, Sasaki-san y Mr. Pogo, el Maestro Ninja, entregaron a mis manos el campeonato del Caribe en pareja al destrozar prácticamente a Miguelito, a Miguelito Pérez, 
y a Huracán Castillo Junior que no nos dieron ni para el arranque. Pero veamos ese momento glorioso para la Real Academia del Profe. Ahí pueden ver la forma en que fueron demolidos, destrozados Miguelito Pérez y Huracán Castillo Jr. Pero que ni sueñen con que alguna vez más podrán volver a ver estas correas en su cintura. Porque el nuevo Ninja Express será campeón hoy, mañana y siempre. Y esta es una profecía que al igual que la pasada, se cumplirá por siempre. Porque el gran maestro de maestros, el profe, vuelve a estar feliz, vuelve a estar contento ya que los Ninja Express han retornado la felicidad. A mi sentido corazón, que ya por fin está contento porque tengo el campeonato del Caribe en pareja. Ahí lo pueden ver, disfrútenlo. La lesión de hoy ha terminado, hijos. I don't know if the cameraman can catch this, but at least you know that it's a nice rendition, a colorful rendition of Caribbean Championship Wrestling. It says, Felicidades, Ricky, Felicidades, to all of you. And if you'd like to write to us, you can do so by writing Caribbean Championship Wrestling, P.O. Box 8900, Santurce, Puerto Rico, 00910. Well, fans, our main event this evening involves four of the toughest little guys you ever want to meet. One of them is a record holder in weightlifting, believe it or not. Butch Cassidy and the, the Masked Midget versus strongman Frank Burns and, of course, the magnificent Martine. That's our main event. It's coming right at you. So let's go right to the ring. All right, fans, let's check them out. The little tough guys, the biggest of them all. Right there is a pretty big one. With the masked midget going up against the strong man, Frank Burns. Heavy set. And you see his quick action right there with a leg whip. Now a drop kick on Butch Cassidy. On the other side, you've got the magnificent Martin. I'm going to tell you, two of the biggest. And strongest midgets in wrestling, the masked midget and the Butch Cassidy. Masked midget takes down the strong man. Strong man undoubtedly got that reputation in a gym. You can see heavily muscled. Right now, take down by the masked midget. I wonder who's behind that mask. My goodness. So far, a test of strength has been won by the masked midget. Tags in to Butch Cassidy in his own right. A tall midget, if you could pardon the expression or if it fits. There's a couple of right hands on the strong man. And now, oh, around the ring and slam. Showing the great strength of Butch Cassidy. Power out by Strongman. Uh-oh. Uh, Ricky Vargas getting into it with uh, Butch Cassidy. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, wow. Nasty nature there in Butch Cassidy. And he's getting very upset with the fans. Ricky Vargas and everybody else on the inside that ring. Well, he's got to face a magnificent Martin now. Butch Cassidy says, I'm the best, the biggest, the strongest. And uh, hey, look at those muscles. He might be. Now, magnificent Martin. He looks French to me. We'll get a word from our producer. But certainly he has uh, the goat key there. Might be a giveaway. Grecian Knuckle Lock. 
This one, the advantage might go to Butch Cassidy, although the leverage could be on Martin's side. Let's watch. A squat there by Martin. And, oh, now you can see that Butch Cassidy, with the power and the knee, is sadly taking the advantage. Power move now by Butch Cassidy. The belly to back suplex. Now Butch Cassidy taking advantage of the height and strength difference. Now in comes the mask midget. It's a little redundant. I guess that's what you can see right there. And uh, he looks like he wants to go for a suplex. There it is. He suplexes the magnificent, magnificent Martin. And now pounding on the back. And I'll tell you, these little guys are pretty strong. You wouldn't want to rile one of them and find out exactly how mean they can be because their, ge their geography is perfectly set for bigger, to handle bigger people. Right now, side headlock by Martin, gaining the leverage. Perhaps the experience advantage over this youngster who appears to be a protege of the gym as well as Butch Cassidy. Nasty, nasty young man, Butch Cassidy. He likes to hurt his opponents. And I'm sure that the mask midget is wearing that mask for a very good reason. There you see. Coming in, takes the tag, and he immediately with that side headlock. Applying pressure and a little chop. A little chop to the face is not helping the mask man any. Off the ropes. Knocked down by Frank Burns. Follows it up with a big close, excuse me, a little close line. But he takes down his man. And I tell you, Frank Burns, showing why they call him the strong man, but right now, the masked midget manages to get out, tags in, Butch Cassidy comes in, kicking. A couple of licks, forearm now. Into the second turnbuckle. Now, Going for the body slam, power slam by Butch Cassidy. Oh no, I tell you, I thought Frank Burns was done in that time. We'll be back in a moment with this main event. And we are back with our main event five time style. Little guys in the ring, but I tell you. A couple of those little guys. Butch Cassidy in the ring right now and his tag team partner, the Mass Midget. A couple of the biggest midgets you're ever going to see anywhere, especially in wrestling. They have Frank Burns. And Martin might think they're watching two Andre the Giants there. Right now, Frank Burns, with his quickness, really giving it his all, gaining some advantage here. Oh, nice. Hit toss by Frank Burns. Very difficult maneuver to do on Butch Cassidy. And there you see Frank Burns avoids the tag there. He's trying to keep Butch inside the ring. Right now, that might turn against him now. There's a double team here in the corner. And that's all Frank Burns needed. Two big guys pounding on him. Two big little guys. The Giants of the Midget World. The Mass Midget. Oh, there you see a little bit of ingenuity. Frank Burns going a little under the belt there. Below the belt on the Mass Midget. Fireman Carey. Oh, my! Look at that move by Butch Cassidy with the save, trying to save his, his masked companion, but it looks like he caught, 
He caught him instead. Frank Price was able to get out of the way. And with friends like that, hey, forget about the enemies. And now both. Little man trying to take the mask off of the tall midget. You can hardly reach it. But I'll tell you, he's game. He's going for it. Double team. Turn about fair play. But Cassidy arguing. Uh, right now, it's not doing much good because Frank Burns continues to. He's unraveling the mask. There you see. Strong man Frank Burns just about took that mask off. Oh, look at this. Oh, my. I tell you, that's one way to get attacked. I don't know if Ricky Vargas, yes, he will allow that. But in comes magnificent Martin now. And here is a real big size advantage for Butch Cassidy. But I'll tell you, you got to admire Martin and uh, Burns because they haven't taken a step back all match long. Reverse Irish whip. And now a double team. Now that's, you might call that tag team wrestling. At its best, when you can get two against one advantage. And other than their size, these men are wrestlers. You got to respect their prowess. Look at the strength of Butch Cassidy. The airplane spin. And Frank Burns getting dizzy. And uh, Butch Cassidy is groggy himself. Oh, my. Tell you, that might have backfired. Look at Frank Burns on second rope. Flying body press. One, two, three. And there it is. Surprisingly, Ben. The little one. Frank Burns, magnificent Martin. Robin, they take it right away from the big man, Butch Cassidy, and the mass midget. Fantastic finish to our main event. And fans, we'll be right back. Well, fans, another fast action match. Our feature in our main event tonight, the four midgets. I tell you, wait till next week because we're going to have a fantastic match. It involves none other than Hercules Ayala, who lost a match with Carlitos Colón. It says he cannot wrestle anymore in Puerto Rico, but this match took place before that match. It was for a title, yes, a title match for the Puerto Rican title held at that time by Ricky Santana. Hercules Ayala, the challenger. That's next week. Also returning our wrestling inquirer and his prophet. Wrestling class is always in Spanish. And maybe we shall see more of Hangman Bobby Jaggers, the mystery man. Hey, maybe he didn't make it.